So this is an important unboxing video. So, so important, so important. I got my DraftKings t-shirt on because I got eight slabs in this box sealed from CGC. And I got some big dogs in here. And one really big first cover that I've never owned before. That's a tough first cover, very condition sensitive. Um, that is the first time I've ever got it. But a lot of other big first covers. A big variant um, that is that is probably the rarest cover of this athlete because it is a variant and it's a one of six variants uh, that I've got high hopes for. So my DraftKings t-shirt, hopefully bringing me some good luck. My DraftKings account's actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, after a so-so college football and NFL season, uh, I had a I had a very good March Madness. Um, and and I've, uh, my golf betting has been um, really solid here. Uh, okay, so um, to answer a question I get a lot, yes, I get all my issues pressed before grading. Yes, even the brand new ones, like the Victor Wabanyama, right off of the newsstand. You better freaking press those. Um, I don't think that I've ever seen an issue ever where I looked at it and said, nope, don't press that one. You're not going to get any better on it. Uh, so yes, press all your issues, either yourself or with CGC, or if you're interested in my pressing service, drop a comment, shoot me a DM. Eight slabs in this box. There's one, two, three, four, five, six first covers. All of them Hall of Famers. Six Hall of Fame first covers. The <coughs> ah, ah, I'm too excited. <coughs> a variant of a massive superstar that is probably the most difficult to find in his rarest um, his rarest Sports Illustrated. Uh, and then a, a, a non-Sports Illustrated that's kind of cool too. Okay, eight slabs. These are big dogs. I need some luck on this box. I need the CGC gods to be smiling down upon me. Let's hope my grader had a great night the night before and woke up refreshed and felt great that morning and did me some solids. Um, yeah, pretty good. Projected a 9.0. If it had been a 9.0, it would have been the second one in existence and the highest graded copy. Lynn Swan, first cover, January 26th, 1976. There's one 9.0. There is now one 8.5. And there are three 8.0s and a bunch of others uh, graded out there. When, when I say that these covers are a work of art and, and capture a snapshot in history in the way that sports cards and graded game tickets just don't even come close to... This is exactly what I mean. Many have called this the greatest catch in Super Bowl history. This was Super Bowl X, Lynn Swan with that amazing catch versus the Cowboys. And it is now immortalized on this cover. And in a beautiful 8.5, does say first Lynn Swan Sports Illustrated cover. You know, uh, actually, let's do this. Uh, 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 we're gonna, I'm going to play the highlight of this catch from Super Bowl X. Third down, Steelers. Back. The blitz is on for Dallas. The Steelers pick it up. Lynn Swan out there. Caught it. Oh, what a catch by Lynn Swan. On the rebound. Mark Washington with him again, but again he caught it. The Cowboys came with everybody. Watch this. Here comes the start. Good pass blocking. People are going... Over and over, the long throw. Look at the tip now by Lynn Swan. And the catch on the other side. He's made two incredible catches. We're not at halftime yet. Ah, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. That moment in history that we all remember, captured here on the cover. It's such a beautiful work of art. That's why I love these things so much. First Lynn Swan cover, 8.5. Now, that is a... Uh, that's a soft start. I had projected 9-0, really wanted 9-0. It's okay. We're going to make it up on the rest of these. We're going to make it up. We're going to make it up on the rest of these slabs, and they're going to exceed my projections. It's two in a row. Again, an another one that I projected at 9.0 uh, that came in at 8.5. First Jerry Rice cover. I told you. These are big dogs. Lynn Swan first cover, Jerry Rice first cover. 
Uh, there are three 9.8s. Uh, this issue came out on January 30th, 1989. Uh, been a lot of them in my unboxing videos lately. Um, three 9.8s. There's a 9.6. There's three 9.4s. Like I said, I projected this at a 9.0. Still within my window, but missed it to the downside. This photo was taken during Super Bowl 23, where Jerry Rice was the MVP. Just, uh, just a beautiful shot in that year where they beat the Bengals uh, in the Super Bowl. Montana, Montana to Rice. Montana to Rice. How many times did we hear that call in the 80s? Again and again and again. Okay. You can turn this around, make things a little bit better. Um, okay. Uh, Ricky Henderson for Sports Illustrated cover. Uh, so this, this is good. So September 6th, 1982 is when this issue came out. There's one 9.6, there's one 9.0, and now there's this 8.5. I, I had projected this at a 7.5, so I'm thrilled with this result. Uh, I think I did get a grader that was in a good mood that day because, uh, well, let me show you here. Staple tear, right there and right there. Staple tear, right there and right there. Really surprised to get an 8.5 on this one, but I'll certainly take it. Um, you know, we all remember Ricky Henderson's Topps rookie card. Just an iconic piece from the Junk Wax era. Uh, he still has the record for the most stolen bases, the most runs scored, and the most stolen bases in a season. Um, and while I thought that record would stand forever, the two stolen base records, with the advent of the pitch clock, the stolen base is back. So who knows uh, what will happen going forward. still going to be uh, a really tough record to break. Career stolen bases and, and stolen bases in a season. And uh, and Ricky Henderson, first Sports Illustrated cover from 1982. Okay, next up. That one was better than I projected. So I need a couple more to get me back to even here. Nine point six does say first Jerome Bettis cover. So this came out on uh, November twenty fourth, nineteen ninety seven. What always makes the you know the nine point six go down a little bit easier is this is a pop one with none graded higher. Um, so that's a little bit better. So there's one nine point six. There's an eight point oh. There's several others out there that are graded. I projected this at a nine point four. So you know kind of back to even on my projections. Uh, played at Notre Dame. Uh, long career with the Steelers, Super Bowl winner in 2006, and went to the Hall of Fame in 2015. Jerome Bettis at 9.6, and his first highest, his first Sports Illustrated cover, and the uh, the highest graded cover in the world there for that Jerome Bettis first cover. There's two I'm waiting on. It'll be interesting to see which one this is. This might be one of them because one of the ones I'm waiting on is is very modern. This is one of this is the modern one I was waiting on. Back to back nine point sixes. This is a this is an absolute gut punch. Man, there there there's just not a not a flaw that I can see on this entire issue. It's a beautiful shape. Uh, LeBron James. This is the how far headline cover. This is a one of six variant that is probably the hardest to find and the most rare LeBron James Sports Illustrated cover in existence. It does say LeBron James cover. So we did get this variant, will be broken out separately. Um, came out on October 27th, 2008. It's a pop one, none graded higher. There's several other graded out there, but they were um, graded before the variants were broken out. So they're gonna be lumped all in together. Uh, Kobe, Garnett, Durant, Dwight Howard, and Elton Brand uh, were on the all, all the six covers that were produced that week. Uh, I had projected this at a 9.6. I got the 9.6. It is disappointing uh, because I wanted that 9.8, but it is a pop one with none graded higher and probably the rarest LeBron James Sports Illustrated cover in existence at 9.6. All right, we got two left here. Two left, including a big, include both big dogs. I know that these last two are by process of elimination. Both are really big. One is really, really big. Fingers crossed. Deep breath. 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That is beautiful. Oh. Oh. 8.0. Larry Bird. First cover. This makes up for all the 9.6s. This makes up for all the missed projections on my grades because I had projected this at a 7.5. Still within my window, but that extra 0.5 is huge. Huge! Oh, oh, this is awesome. Larry Bird, first cover, November 28th, 1977. Let's go through the pops on this because they are tiny. There's one 9.6, there are two 9.4s, there are two 9.2s. If you go above 9.0, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, one of the most collectible issues in the entire hobby, there's only five at 9.2 or higher and no 9.8 in existence. Like I said, I projected this at a 7.5. There are only 31 total newsstand copies graded. That's why I love Newsstand Sports Illustrated. It's freaking Larry Bird. Everybody is hunting and searching for these and getting them graded when they find them. But 31 newsstand copies have been graded in any grade. That's it. Uh, so for by comparison, the LeBron James first cover from 2002, there are 44 at 9.8. And I believe there's over 500 total graded. So these vintage newsstand Sports Illustrateds are impossible to find. It does say first Larry Bird. I don't know why they put, I don't know if you can see this. It says first Larry Bird in parentheses, Indiana State cover. I don't know why they felt the need to put the, his college on there, uh, but they did. Uh, whatever. Cool, CGC. Do your thing. Um, um, I've never owned this one before. Never owned this. This is the first newsstand issue that I was finally able to find and source. Um, and for it to come back better than my 7.5 projection is, uh, is amazing. Makes up for all the disappointments in the box. Makes up for that 9.6 LeBron variant. Uh, I cannot say enough about this. It is difficult. It's a condition sensitive issue. You've got lots of dark ink all along the side, all along the spine, full color on the back. Um, it is a condition sensitive issue, which is why we've never seen a 9.8 and there's just so few of them graded above 9.0. Larry Bird, first cover, 1977 at 8.0. All right. So this last one is just gravy now after that Bird 8.0. Bird 8.0. This one's just gravy. See what we got. Oh, not bad. 9.0. So this is uh, Barry Bonds. First cover from May 4th, 1992. There is one 9.6. There's six 9.4s. There's a 9.2. Projected this at 8.5. So love that. Uh, again, really condition sensitive. Gate fold. Black strip running down there is actually page number two. It's not part of the cover. You fold the cover out and it comes out of this trifold thing. Anytime you see an issue with that gatefold, uh, it makes it very condition sensitive because you've got another seam. It's all, I've said this a lot and I feel like I'm a broken record, but I think it's important. It's like having a second spine. You've got that seam where the paper is folded over and it weakens the paper. It weakens the ink. It gives an opportunity for the ink to flake off and for it to, you know, bury your grade. Um, you know, love or hate Barry Bonds, this is a beautiful cover. Uh, great box, lots of fun. Larry Bird, first cover, 8.0. Uh, really appreciate you watching. Check me out on social media. Same username here as YouTube, CGC Sports Illustrated. I'm on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and Reddit and eBay and, and just every freaking platform that exists. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.